Hey kids, it's Braille. Welcome back to class. Today's lesson is more Theme Hospital. Uh, we're picking up where we left off last time. In fact, I haven't even changed locations. I just figured that the video was getting kind of long and uh, I don't want to bore you too much. I don't want to overload you, as it were. Um, we are, so we're in a hospital that for the first time has earthquakes present, which means that uh, pretty much the building could come falling down around me at any minute. Um, I don't think it will, I'll be honest and say that, but I do think that um, the shaking can potentially break some of my instruments if the handymen are not up to the task of keeping them running properly. Uh, the hospital's not too busy right now, as you can see, but we are making a sizable amount of income and everything is going our way. I think we've killed maybe one or two people this round, which is not great, but you know what? I'll let it live. I will let it live. So, I'm gonna bump the speed back up here. Just let us go. Because I think at this point, there's only a couple things I have left on the objectives. We just have to invest another 30 grand or so into the hospital. And we have to cure 200 people. So, I get... Oh. One person with kidney beans. Oh, come on in. Let's do it. Let's do it. I have an operating theater available. I'm just gonna buy up a couple of these buildings. I don't even need them all. What do you got? Invisibility. Alright. Uh, cool. I got more money. So, invisibility is kind of like a Spider-Man thing, I guess. Slow down. What do you got? Yes, I, I know I saved a maximum of one person. Um, let's see. 20, 30, 20, 20, 45, 20, 100. Okay, so you're... What am I doing for... Psych diseases are 30. Gotta sit here and click a bunch of times till I get up there. I wish that there was, like, I could just click in here and type the number I want for percentage. I wish I could do it with just, like, straight up, uh, values. You know, that I don't have to rely on percents of what the original is for the market. Oh, x ray is gonna be expensive. Can I do 125? Probably. Okay, cool. So my reputation for each drug differs, uh, and that reputation will change according to what price I charge, which can increase or decrease the number of people coming to the hospital, and will in influence the overall reputation of the hospital. So if I somehow were to, for whatever reason, if I were to go crazy and lower the costs on everything in the hospital, so that patients just, you know, they come in, they do their thing, and that's it. Uh, and they only pay like 90% of what the markup is supposed to be, then that would, in theory, increase my rep, because then, you know, people don't have to spend as much. Um, and it also means that I can cure more patients, which also increases my rep, because number of successful cures also increases how well your hospital is perceived by the public. I just got slack tongue. Which is funny, we, in the uh, last lesson that we had here, if you're looking back on your notes, um, we actually had it, it, like six people coming with slack tongue and I really quickly had to throw together a clinic that could handle it, which is this giant rolling slicer down here in the bottom right corner. Um, but the, <laughs> the trouble with that is I didn't actually have slack tongue researched here in my diagnoses list. So I couldn't do anything for anybody else after that. Sometimes when the doctors pop up with requests for more money down here, um, you can ignore it and they'll just leave. I typically don't ignore it, I just give them what they want. I don't, I don't really bother firing people because I figure if I was dumb enough to hire you, then I would be dumb to fire you. And besides, like, both of my surgeons right now are, uh, freaking out on me. And I believe they're the only two surgeons I have. That was an earthquake. Oh no, I have four surgeons. Five surgeons. I have five surgeons, so I could afford to fire a couple, I guess. Uh, sent them home. I got, I got nothing, man. Okay, so this machine was smoking after those earthquakes. It, uh, it required the handyman coming in here and making sure that it wasn't broken. Uh, these things do wear down over time, with or without use. Um, use just increases how quick. Charging too little for general practice. Really? 
That's interesting. I've actually never been told that I'm charging too little for these things. Is 110 really too little? I can bump it up. That's fine. I think if your reputation is good enough, you can crank what it is that you're bringing into the hospital. Alright, let's get all these television personalities out of here. Let's see if I can get them all coordinated and worked out. They all keep rotating around trying to find benches. Oh, it's my turn. Oh, it's my turn. Oh, it's my turn. Oh, it's my turn. That's really not an increased turn. How's my... Alright, hospital looks okay. I don't have a heater in the bathroom up here. I just, I built a random bathroom, not because I needed it, but because, I don't know. Maybe I did need it. Why did I order a bin? I'm an idiot. Where's my stupid stamp? Somebody get me a stupid stamp. I need a plant. Come on, brain, can you read? I know it's early, but that's no excuse. I have 200 visitors and 157 cures, but I do have one death. Okay, so I've only killed one person. <laughs> only. Only, only one. Only one. As though, you know, that's anything to be proud of. I mean, I could have, I could have killed two. Or, <sighs> I have a scanner. That was, that was a very uncomfortable noise, I apologize. I, just, I got excited. It's been a while since I've seen this machine. Oh god, alright, hold up. I gotta slow the game down then. Slow your roll, buddy. Uh, yeah, I want the console against the wall. Don't you love these old, like, 80s arcade console looking things? Aren't they fun? I think they're fun. They look like fun to me. Uh, the only trouble I have is that, like, there's a, clearly a ton of empty space around this thing that I could be using, and the game won't let me. Alright, let's see. Ten people with fractured bones. Holy cow. Alright, let's do it. I have one fracture clinic. Let's see if I can get a handyman over here to fix it up. Where are you going? Are you tired or something? Why? Oh, you're going to slack tongue. Um... I don't really know why. Do I have somebody with slack tongue going that way? You. Alright. So, what I want then. Let's grab you, because you're nuts. And you're gonna come in here. Only nurses can work in a fracture clinic. Well, shoot. I'm glad you told me that later. Here. There you go. I, uh, I needed an extra nurse anyways, because I only had two for three buildings. I'm, so, you don't have to have one staff member per room, or, you know, two staff members per room, unless it's, like, a specialty, so you do need to have two surgeons. But, like, I don't need to necessarily have, uh, three nurses for a ward, a farm, and a fracture clinic. I could just have one nurse running between all three. The trouble is that gets really hectic. I like doing one person per room, um, just because, to me, that seems like the faster way to go. Uh, oh, that was the scanner. I was like, did I kill somebody again? What happened? No, I, I believe that was the scanner. I don't think I've murdered anybody again. Go, nurse. You're fast. You're working hard. That's yeah, the scanner. 10 out of 10. Beautiful. That's what I like to hear. And I believe those actually count towards my cures, too. So, let's see. Hospital value is 127. Okay, cool. So, I just have to finish this out. I, yes, I finally figured out Fractured Bones, which means that now I can charge a lot for it, I think. Uh, this uses a machine, so it's 130. Alright, cool. Isn't it odd that I could just, like, buy all these extra facilities and then, I don't know, like, not need to have all that excess building space there? Uh, I didn't realize I would reach my goal this quickly. I didn't I didn't think that was gonna happen. Uh, I guess we're gonna check out what the next hospital brings and we might even actually uh, stick around for it and see how much of the next hospital I can get done because uh, this was surprisingly quick. I, I honestly didn't think it was going to be this quick. Uh, Diag scanner. This is a machine. What's the x-ray charging? 125. You're also gonna be. 
Suffering folk are standing. Where are they? Oh, I have a line for the GP's office. Holy crap. I didn't even realize. Uh, okay, so I can put down a few more benches here. Let's put some benches outside the bathroom. Okay, that should be enough. What are you all... You're all queuing for one GP's office. I think the game distributes the load. I probably need more than just two GP's offices moving forward, because I'm carrying so many people all at once. This is how you keep your hospital growing. Is, uh, you just keep slamming stuff down. The game will figure it all out, I promise. Yeah, I'm sure they're not too happy about it, but, you know, there's not much I can do in this tiny little hallway over here. I'm just, uh, waiting for the end-of-year evaluation when they see that my hospital is worth enough and that all of my stuff is good. That's what I wanted. This. Festering on the wold. I don't know what that means. Let's go. Next hospital in the playbook. We've managed four of them so far. This will be five out of ten, I believe. Okay... Atmosphere is good at carrying germs and infections. Needs to stay super clean, otherwise you get epidemics. I need 150 in the bank, and my worth needs to be 140. Do I have a cure goal? I do. 300 people is going to be long. 50%. Okay, alright. So, we need to start by making a mass profit is what's got to happen here. Um, oh, this is uncomfortable. They didn't put the door right in the middle. Game, why you do this? Yeah, this this hallway is six units wide. That that makes me very uncomfortable. This is not cool. What the hell, guys? All right, let's get a receptionist. You're good. Oh god, I'm still running at hyperspeed. That's not what I want. Uh, we're gonna put down a bunch of benches here. I don't know that anybody will use the benches this close to the front door, but we'll see. Alright, so, diagnosis, GP, we're gonna go... I need probably three of them based on that last playthrough. We'll go like that. Uh, it seems it's, it's basically the same setup for each level start, um, just because that's kind of how the game works. One, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. I can do it and still have a hallway in the middle. That's great. I like this. I like this plan. Ah, uh, yeah, we can throw you there. We'll throw you there. We'll put you there, and that'll be good. Okay. And then I need another... Another GP's office, I think, goes here, and then I should be able to do a 4x4 four four box there. So... We will... I don't know, I like windows. Sue me. Um, <laughs> actually don't. I think the patients are working on doing that on their own. They don't, you don't, they don't need your help in suing me. They're, they're doing that just fine on their own things. Um, yeah, it'll work. Okay, I should only need one farm. I may need more than one. We'll s oh, I can buy an extension to this building. That's uncomfortable for 10 grand. Let's just get it out of the way. This is going to be a hallway leading into I don't, nowhere land down here, I guess. How many? What are we looking at here? Like five squares deep? I could put research down there where nobody can find it. Um, okay, so we need some treatment facilities. I'm thinking I just want to have a psych sticking out kind of over here because that's fun. You know, we'll just... Uh, Slam random things down in the corner of the hospital and call it good. That's how that works, right? Okay, so that's good. Uh, I need something else here that's a 5x5. Five five. We'll do general diag over here. I should only need the one. The GP's offices are the most important because the patients come back to them. Oh, I put the... I should have put the, the psych door on this side. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter how long they spend walking around the hospital. What matters is that they eventually get seen. We'll put benches along the back here, I guess. And then I can throw some clinics down 
too. So like I can do, uh, I can straight up do inflation here and then, uh, or I could just, you know, click off of it. That's cool too. Thanks game. Uh, and we just go like that and then boom. And there's the head popper. I need you, that'll work. Uh, and then doctors, what do we got? You're a shrink, you're gonna go in, I shouldn't call it a shrink. Your foolish risk taker doesn't care less. All right, you're a regular doctor. I'll throw you in there. Um, consultant researcher, here you go. Because um, I do need a researcher. You're a surgeon and a researcher. That'll work fine. I would need a second surgeon. There you go. That's, yep, we're in a good place now. Perfect. Um, let's see, what else do I want to do? I think I kind of want to leave like a hallway through here and then maybe, I don't know, fill this out towards the middle sort of deal. We'll see. Maybe I want to put another farm down here. I, uh... Huh. Three, four, five, six, seven. Ugh. Seven, eight, nine. I have a nine area here. By one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I could do a 9x9 nine nine building right here, and that would be fine. Oh, you're tempting me, game. Don't do that. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um. 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 Um, 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 um. What do I want to do? I'm thinking, okay. Hmm. Let's throw research down here in the corner, where nobody can find it. Uh, because there's, realistically, uh, the public isn't supposed to know that you have a research facility. Because, so this is an, what's called an auto-autopsy machine. Uh, you don't want anybody knowing that you have one of these. Because you can send people to it to die. You, if you can't figure out what's wrong with them, you send them to the research department and they just die. That's it. They just straight up get murdered. Um... So you don't want people to find out about the auto autopsy machine. Uh, I think it's kind of funny when they do, uh, because then, like, yeah, you get to watch your uh, your performance go down just a little. Oh, you're a cardiogram. Uh, you can watch your hospital's performance decline just a little bit because of that, but it's never, in my experience, it's never been anything major to warrant, like, intentionally hiding it from the public. So you don't want them to find out about it, but it's not a super huge slight to you if, if the public does, if that makes any sense. And that's that's like a really crap thing to say, too, because you're willing to just sacrifice people. I, you know, every hospital deserves a good sacrifice. Somebody should put that on a t-shirt or something. Uh, let's get a can built over here. Sorry, they would call it the loo in Britain. I call it a can. I shouldn't call it a can. I don't need another toilet. What the hell am I doing? Uh, staff room. Uh, yeah, we'll do a 5x5 five five staff room here. This allows me to put another 4x4 four four space over here. I could do a training room here if I wanted, but I'm thinking I want that to be another clinic. Or, uh... Probably a farm, actually. So, let's see. Sofa. Uh, I want TV, a video game, and another couple of sofas, I think. So, we'll go like that. Put the TV here. The video game can only go one way, so it goes there. And that's pretty much that. Alright. I need a nurse. Because I never actually bought one. Drinks wine, that's fine. Uh, I need another janitor because this is gonna be this is this is a big undertaking right here. This is kind of a large layout. Uh, hospital worth is looking okay. Money. Your bank balance should not be less than negative twenty thousand. What the? I didn't know I could get that low. All right. I don't think I have a loan, do I? No. I don't want to talk to a money manager. You. I can buy insurance. Interesting. I didn't even realize this was a thing. I don't... Okay... That's very strange. I I have... Apparently I've not seen that menu in a very long time, and as a child I wouldn't have understood it anyway, so I guess it didn't matter. Okay, so the only things that I have left are an operating theater and a ward. 
and I'm thinking that those maybe need to go over in this area. The theater doesn't have to be all that big. It's a 6x6 six six building. That leaves me with... I could do a 4x4 four four right here next to it if I wanted. I just have to put the door over, like, on this wall. Like that. And then I can, you know, window this place up a little bit. There we go. Uh, and then I put the operating table over here. Put the screen in the corner. Put the sink... Can I not put the sink there? It, uh, apparently I can't put the sink there. Why can I not put the sink there? Hello? Game? What is this? Why can I not put the sink there? Oh, okay, I can put it back there. That's fine. Cool. And then we'll do that over there, because it doesn't matter. Yes, I know I need a ward. Thank you, Jimmy Jump Up. Ward? I don't... Ward is classified as a treatment facility? Oh, I legit don't have enough money to put them... Oh? Okay. Alright. That's fine. Um, so, cardio has a machine, we're gonna bump that up. Uh, general diagnosis also has a machine, we're gonna bump that up. Psychiatry is gonna be a lot of money, because I think that psychs need more money. General practice is gonna be standard markup rate. Bloody head has a machine. What am I bumping you to? 130? Because it's a cure. Fractured bones. I shouldn't already have Fractured Bones unlocked, but I mean, I do. I don't think I have a clinic for it, though. No, I don't have a clinic. Okay, so you gotta do your job more, Mr. Research Man. Uh, and then, I guess we open the gates and see what happens. I have enough to run the hospital. I probably need, like, one other person. Not gonna lie, I, I need one more doctor. Ooh, I want... Ooh. Ooh. Surgery, man. Let's go. I will throw a ward down over here, uh, and then I can put something small here and something small here, and it won't get in the way of any of this. And then this area in the back over here is just going to kind of be open, I guess, for like benches and stuff. Oh, that's what I should put down. I need more. How, how much do benches cost? 40 bucks each? I need like a bunch of them. Yeah, we'll go like that. There you go. Cool. That'll work. Uh, I eventually need to throw down a bunch of them over here, and then probably some along this well, th there's not going to be any room in this hallway if I've got a 4x4 four four unit here. I don't even know what I would put there. Uh, cardiogram could go over there. Maybe that's maybe that's the move, is I put the cardiogram over here because it's part of diagnosis, and then up here in the back I would put the slack tongue clinic and the fracture clinic, and those are my treatment areas. The trouble that I have is that this over here is going to be underutilized space because it's a... F this is a 4x8. It's a 3x... Well... I could stick out by one unit and just have a skinny one-lane hallway. That would be fine. Alright, let's open the gates. Ah, oh, our first victim. Uh, the volunteer patient. Patient, that's the word. It's patient. Oh, um, six people with bloaty head. Let's do it. I have a clinic. Alright, Doc. Let's go pop them. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, God, why is everybody threatening to quit? Broken wind. Using a gymnasium treadmill after me. Oh, upsetting the people directly behind the patient. <laughs> I bet I know what that is. Heaped piles we know about. Okay, uh, fine. You sure? Yeah, okay. Dang, these are, these are upcharging me quite a bit. I guess I better upcharge all of this, huh? Let's see. Uh, heaped piles is a cure, so we're gonna go 120 on that one. Fractured bones is 130. Broken wind will be another 120, I guess. Ah, see, so my cure rate over here is only 85% on each of these new things that I'm finding. Uh, which means I have to be really careful about trying to cure people, because an 85% means that I could still straight up murder them while trying to fix them. I don't need my death count to start climbing. Would you guys calm down? Holy cow. I'm not made of money. Despite the fact that you might think I am. I needed that five grand from that emergency. Because these guys are... Why are they climbing the walls? What the hell is pissing them off so... Oh, is it my temperature? 
Is it the temperature? Okay, I need one, two, three, four, five over here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, cool. And then plants. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. I completely forgot about these. Like, why is everybody unhappy? Alright, now I get it. Yes, I know people in my hospital are cold. Calm down. Uh, is that all my radiators? Did I put one in here? I did put one in here. How did I... Where's my miscount? Oh, you were the last one. Got it. Okay. Uh, you need a plant. You need a plant. You need a plant. You need a plant. It's like Oprah. You get a plant. You get a plant. Everybody gets a plant. And then everybody's clapping and applauding. You're so right. Everybody gets a plant. We love plants. Uh, so we'll put another radiator in here, in the operating theater. And then I need... Probably, like, one in the corner here, one up here, one in the hallway. I guess. So we'll, uh... that uh and then I, I i i want one over here next to the door just just guys just for the heck of it and that should be good um i don't think people will avoid walking on squares with radiators i just don't think radiators can sit on the same square as something else you can't tell me people are cold it's june it should be warm i have sleeping illness and i have gut rot great and i have a vip let's go all right, so let's take a look at this. You're a psych thing. We're going to bump you to 135. Because that's what I want. What am I doing? 120 for drugs? Yes, we're doing 120 for drugs. I somehow have fractured bones unlocked, but I don't have a fractured bones clinic. That's kind of annoying. At least I didn't. Do I have one now? I do. some lovely noises here, aren't there? Plant, radiator. There we go. Uh, I believe I only have one nurse, so let me see about hiring a second. Stressed and prone to mistakes. I don't know that I like that. Careless and accident prone. I don't know that I like that either. Here. Let's see. get some benches down. That sounded like Roller Coaster Tycoon cough. That's the noise that the guests make when they vomit on the, uh, the pathway in Roller Coaster Tycoon in the original two games. It's, uh, it's kind of a gross noise. It's like a weird pseudo-sick. Uh, spare ribs. What do you got? 46% that it's fractured bones. No, you're going home. Let's see. This is spare ribs. Oh, uh, stand in the hospital for a minute. Kidney beans, okay. Kidney beans, stay in the hospital for a minute. Hold up, I got you, fam. Um, let me work on it. We need a ward. Uh, the ward has to be a six by six space. That'll be good news. So I can't build anything here then, because there's nothing that's a 3x3 three three or a 3x4. There's nothing small enough for that. We're gonna, we're gonna, uh, I didn't want a window there, but okay. It's fine, whatever. Um, we will bed and desk, and then we're going to buy another bed. Oh, I legit can't put one there because the door's in the way. Arr, that's frustrating. Very frustrating. Uh, okay, hold up. Oh, I can put the door in the corner? That's funny. I didn't realize that was a thing. Let's do it. Okay, I think I could still only afford two, to put two beds in here, but like, at least this way I can actually guarantee two beds. 
We're gonna buy two radiators and a plant. I want one over here by the nurse's desk. I want one here. That was a lovely noise, sir. You deserve an eight out of 10 for that ripping belch. Uh, I do want another nurse. The squids. 20 for drugs. Spare ribs is a surgery that's gonna have a huge markup. Surgeries have markups. It's early. My uh, Normally I can click pretty quickly, but uh, at this hour of the morning, my hand is not operating at full steam. Come on, get me to that magic number of 145. That's what I want. Alright, uh, ward diagnosis. If you're sleeping in a bed here, you're paying for it. There we go, cool. Alright, uh, it doesn't make any sense to me that these people have to sleep in here before they go to surgery. Like, don't you typically sleep after the surgery? Good drinks machine in a bin. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I don't understand how the healthcare system is supposed to work, but I always thought that you slept after the surgery. After they cut you open, had your guts ripped out and thrown all over the floor. Is that not how surgeries work? Maybe it's not how surgeries work. I don't remember. Uh, I don't have any other treatments or... Oh, no, I, I lied. I don't have any other treatments or clinics. All right, cool, good, great, let's go. People are complaining about being thirsty. Well, you know, that could just be the heat. Your money is getting low. I uh, yes, very good. Thank you, game. Thank you for informing me of this travesty. Maybe, if the spawn rate for guests were higher, I would have a higher cure rate, and we'd be fine. 83... you know what? Ordinarily, I would say no, but I guess it's fine. I should bump this up to, like, 80, and then you can ask me, and I will decide on if I want the money or not. Send him home. You ain't got it, you ain't got it. Go home. The trouble is, I don't have any other diagnostic machines yet, and I need the scanner and the x-ray in order to fill out my roster. Cool. 86% chance? Got it right. Do I have everything bunked up? I mean, I do. Maybe I'm not charging a high enough premium for it because I'm not making enough money. Let's see if I can get more people in here. Hardly anyone has to stand. That's better than the last hospital where half the population was standing around. There you go. Golf stones. Exposure to poison gas inside golf balls. Delirium and advanced shame. <laughs> what? Is this like a joke on- I, I think this is a joke on people who play golf. I can just imagine some dude with golf stones running through the hallways yelling "four" as loud as he can, you know? Doing a terrible job at yelling because the people in the house are still asleep, but I don't know. I think that would be hysterical. Alright, hold up. I gotta turn the speed down a little bit while I bump this up because there's an emergency waiting for me. Uh, all my prices are way too high. That's good. Six people with invisibility. Let's do it. Uh, because I can handle it. All right, nurse. Are you ready to fill a bunch of drug prescriptions for people? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Make that sweet, sweet money. Send them home. You have transparency. That's not invisibility. That's different. Couple more there, nursey. I mean, I'm doing okay on everything but money. Ordinarily, what'll happen is the first year, my money looks terrible. And then the second year, everything kind of spikes and does better. Oh, we have earthquakes here. That's right. Cool. How do I look? Uh, cash balance is not great. 84% treatment rate. We're 10% of the way in. I need to spend another... What is that? 80... That, no. 50,000? Just shy of $50,000. Uncommon cold. Hey... As opposed to just the common cold. What am I charging for drugs? 20? I have another emergency. What do you got? One person with kidney beans. Come on in. Let's go slicey open. Infectious laughter. Oh, that's gonna be a psych thing, I believe. Yes. 
psych things get upcharged. What, what was I doing? 130? What is it for TV personalities? 135. Okay. Uh, there was something that popped up down here at the bottom. Suffering folk are having to stand. Oh, that's right, because I never put any benches down over here. But there's not really anywhere for me to put benches, because I... I don't know, I was going to fill this area with another thing, but I guess maybe now I just don't worry about it. Okay, cool. We'll do seven benches, that should be enough. The toilets make some fun noises. Where's my psych? Where? You're a researcher, you're not who I want. Do I... you're a surgeon. You're my psych. Do I only have the one psych? What are you? You're just a surgeon. Do I really only have one psychologist? This is terrible. I need another psychologist. Uh, let's see. I have one. Okay, cool. Go. Cool. Let's get these people in and out. That's the reason why they're having to stand, is because I didn't have a psych in here to upcharge them and give me a ton of money to... What am I... Oh, I have to solve the thing. Hold up. Let's see. I'll pay you more. You're fine. Uh, where's the option to send them to the research room? Oh, I don't need this graph. That's not what I wanted. I wanted this. That was my value. Still at the same. That's fine. Cash balance is going up. That's good. Very good. Uh, supposedly people are thirsty, but I'm not super, super concerned about that. Because in the current layout of the hospital, there's not really a way for me to put too many more uh, things down that would fix that. Sorry, I'm punching my microphone. I had to scratch my nose. There's other stuff I could put over there. Oh, I have Slack Tongue Clinic now. Cool. So we want 4x4. Four four. This is going to be a four-wide hallway, I guess. Uh, so now, Slack Tongue should just get handled, I think. I want a radiator, not a bin. I want a plant. I don't put bins in the treatment rooms, as weird as that sounds. I think... Uh, I may have mentioned that I'm playing Project Hospital on the side, just kind of to get familiarized with the mechanics. I'm pretty sure Project Hospital requires you to put, like, biohazard bins in most places. So, I, uh, I don't know. This game never really got me corrugated ankles. Cool. Let's, uh, upcharge for that. Oh, God, I have a thing. Hold up. It's a drug. It's going to be 120. Uh, this, let's see, 14 people with gut rot, holy cow, uh, I need another farm. I, 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 I need another farm, I have no way about it. We're gonna do a second farm down here, that'll be fine. Hi nurse lady, you're gonna come over here, uh, and then we're going to benches. Cool. And then we'll drinks machine right here, and that'll be that. I don't know why Kit Kat is on a drinks machine. That doesn't make any sense to me. I don't even know. I mean, hashtag not sponsored for my purposes, but I, I don't know. Maybe Bullfrog had some sort of a negotiation with Kit Kat to, to use their name and their logo. A little bit bizarre if they did, um, but no less funny. That's... Oh, I murdered somebody. Oops. You just killed your first patient. How does it feel? I mean, it was bound to happen. Honestly, I think I've got a much better, like, cure-to-death ratio than... Oh, I'll take it. I think I've got a much better uh, cure-to-death ratio than most hospitals do, I think. That sounds really grim. But I don't know. I'm not too dissatisfied with, like, one... Well, actually, I don't know. Where am I? I'm at one death out of 78 cures. I'll take it. It's like... That's like 1%. Actually, that's like 1.5% right now, but... The more people I cure, the smaller that percentage gets, right? As long as I don't let anybody else die. What do you got? One person with spare ribs. Get in here. I have a surgery department. 
Now, if they sent me like six people with spare ribs, I'd maybe quirk an eyebrow. Where's my other surgeon? What the hell is he doing? Uh, oh, taking a break, I see. Okay, I mean, that's that's fine. Uh, nope, he's going back to it. That's good. Good, go, get over there. Let's go. Get changed into your scrubs, get these people sliced up. Let's do a thing, man. Nurse, why are you wandering around outside the ward? Some of your patients couldn't hold on. I mean, I only have one toilet. Send home. Uh, send home. Because I don't... Oh, I have an x-ray now. I have an x-ray now. We can do that. Let's, uh... Does it fit? <gasps> it fits right here. That's perfect. Okay, cool. Let's go. My patients couldn't hold on. I assume that means that they crapped on the floor. Uh, which, you know, when you can't hold it, that's where you do your business, right? You just let it go on the floor. I guess. I don't know. I think hospitals, uh, probably would not appreciate that, that sort of mentality. They, what? Fire extinguishers. Uh, they would probably hate me for that thought. Can't make it to the toilet? Just crap on the floor. Sounds kind of nasty, doesn't it? Uh, the only other thing I need, I think, is the scanner. X-ray. X-ray uses a machine. What am I using for machines? Bloody head is 130, so X-ray is going to be 130. Cool. All right, and that's about that. Uh, I should throw some benches down over here, though. Cool. All right, let's go. Sure. Let's get Rocket Ronnie Jepsen in here. That'll be good. Okay, looking good. We're just popping heads left, right, and center. All right, making a ton of money. I have one dead. Cool. 126 visitors. But I have a cure rate of what, like 90? How many people have I cured? 96 out of 120. So my cure rate is what, 75? 85. King complex. Oh, that's uh, that's the Elvis thing. Okay, what do you want? There is an 88% chance it's fractured bones. Let's do it. Fuck it. See what happens. Uh, King complex is a psych thing. What was I doing for infectious laughter? 135? Cool. Cool. There you go. Uh, the research department is doing good work. He's uh, bumping up the levels of all of my drugs. See? All my drug effectiveness is going up. This is good news. This is very good news. I very, very much appreciate that. Ah, uh, see, so now with some x-rays, I can get some things done over here. It's not just, uh... Oh, I have mice. I hate mice. Okay. Baldness. Telling lies and making up stories to be popular. Shiny-headedness and embarrassment. Hair is seamlessly melded onto the patient's head using a painful machine. This sounds like... What is it? Is it Bosley? Is that what it's called? Hair treatment for men. I always thought it was weird that people gendered products. Try this shampoo that has all kinds of manly things on it because men can't smell like vanilla. I don't know, I personally think vanilla is a rather attractive fragrance. Telling lies and making it- this is like Pinocchio syndrome here. Wait. Wait. Ah, uh, stay put. Hair restorer treatment. It's a clinic. It's not a clinic. I- wait. Do I not have access to a hair restorer? What? The oh. Oh. Okay. I thought I had one. Apparently, I don't have one. Um. Um. Okay. Uh. Specialization doesn't really matter so much to me, so we'll drop it. Can you focus mostly on researching more? Not die. Oops. No, I want cure equipment. There you go. 
can you spend your time researching a, a baldness thing for me? Because otherwise, there's going to be a dude sitting in my hospital for a long flippin' time waiting. I also probably need to employ a couple more janitors because I have a mouse hole and that's not good. Oh, I hate all of you. None of my options are good options. Where's the bald guy? Is he one of these who's wearing a hat or something? Ah, nope, found the bald guy. I appreciate that baldness is something that they have to come to a hospital to fix. Like, it's not just a fact of life. You're a psych. You're a surgeon. Why are you in here? Did you already... You already made money off of her? Yes, good. Cool. Come here. You're gonna go... Ugh. Thank you for doing that right in front of me. Alright. I just have to run the game and wait and hope. Let's see if I get a baldness cure. What is this? Okay. I have a contagious strain of infectious laughter. So I can either cure it by covering it up, or I can pay $6,000, take a reputation hit, and everybody's vaccinated. Let's see if we can fix it. So epidemics... I don't remember what this button is. So, ah, uh, okay, so anybody here who's got this thing on his head, this is the, this is the epidemic sign. This is, like, their version of COVID, I guess. I shouldn't say that. Um, the idea is that I want to try and cure these folks as fast as possible, because they have infectious laughter. Um, so, I'm gonna need a shrink to really quickly sort them all out. <gasps> Hair restorer. Oh, good lord, yes. And I just got invisibility. Okay. Here we go. Hair restoration clinic. Let's build a thing. I'm gonna stick it here. Do that. And that. That's good. We're gonna... We're gonna... Can you... No. Oh, you have to go away from the wall. That's weird. Okay, cool. Great. I'm gonna put down some benches. I need, like, a bunch of them. There we go. Cover up the mouse hole. Thank you, mouse. Alright, so bald guy is gonna go over there. Uh, I probably need another doctor, actually. <sighs> Not another shrink. I don't have one. Alright. Just drop you in the hallway and see if we can summon you somewhere at some point, somehow. Here, you know what? You go in the hair restoration clinic, and then you can go wherever you want from there. My word, there are a bunch of you queuing for this one GP's office. Uh, infectious laughter is a psych disease, so I have to, like, I have to get all the people with infectious laughter. Oh, I have a scanner, so that should allow me to uncover all illnesses. Here, because I need another shrink. Let's see, scanner. Scanner's a five. I can put the scanner over here. Ha, look at me go. I'm a genius. Actually, I'm not. I, I need a stupid stamp. I deserve nothing more or less than a stupid stamp. Cool. There we go. All right. Great. And then I need uh, two radiators, two plants, and then another three benches, I guess. We'll go benches outside this door. Uh, I need a radiator. I need another radiator. I need... Uh, yep. And... Uh, yep. I must have solved the guy's baldness, because I don't see a bald guy in here anymore. I don't know. That's fine. I apparently have to diagnose all the people who have the illness. I can't just, like, send them off to get cured. I have slack tongue, you're trying to quit. I already have a slack tongue clinic, so it's not that big of a deal to me. Let's see here. Slack tongue is a machine. Machines are expensive. It was like 130 or so, I think. I'm just kind of making these numbers up as I go. Let's see, bloody head is 130. Okay. Invisibility is a drug. That's 120.
most of these I don't even have to look at the bottom here to figure out what it is. Baldness is a weird one, because it's not one that I was too familiar with. I got to a certain point in this game with my, my siblings and I used to play all the time when we were young, um, as I've probably said. But after a certain point in the game, it just got to be too hard for my little kid brain to handle, and I couldn't do it. So, I, I think we all just, like, unanimously agreed to give up because we got stuck on a level, and we couldn't figure out how to do it. Or we just flat out weren't good enough to do it. I don't, I really don't know which. Here, get in there. Uh, you can go for your cure. You can go for your cure, because I I know what you have. That's, I, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm curious to see. I shouldn't need to diagnose them. I should just be able to send them to the nurse and see what happens. Or actually, no, they're going to the psych. They're going over here to the, the psych's office. We'll see. We'll see if that even works, because I legit don't know. I don't know if this is going to work at all. Uh, where the hell? I never have a psych in the room when I need one. Would you get in there? Get in there and do your damn job. I don't think I'm going to be able to contain the epidemic. Yep, that's what I figured. So as soon as that notice comes in, a health inspector spawns at like the corner of the map and he's going to come waltzing in. And when he waltzes in, he's looking to see if I still have people. Fine, do it. I just need somebody constantly in the shrink's office. Yeah, I think that's him. Yep, that's the health inspector. Uh, and he's not happy. I don't know if they walk faster than normal people, but like, he's not happy. He's coming in to see if my hospital is actually a terrible place or not. Uh, and it kind of is, you know, because I'm a terrible person. Uh, let's build another psych office, I guess. And then there you go. What did you say? Health inspector heard rumors, he didn't find anything, they gave me 14,000 compensation for the damages. I'm not certain how he didn't manage to find any evidence. Either I killed the people, or I fixed them. I need more janitors. This hospital is kind of a nightmare. Um, just because there's so much going on. Ardent train wrecker. You know, I've heard people being called train wrecks before, but I've never heard of anybody who is an actual train wrecker. Do I have enough nurses? I have one standing idle in the hallway. I think I have enough nurses. Poorly trained feckless. Uh, dedicated to helping people with a smile. Uh, I guess I could use another general purpose doctor here. I just have a lot of people queuing up for the psychology room. And all the people who are queuing, who are ahead of any of the King Syndrome people, are going to take away from my potentially earning a cure. But I think that's everybody. Staff are overheating. Did you think it's maybe because it's the middle of summer? Actually, it's September. It should be cooling off. Cool. Solved, everybody. Uh, do I have any new things that I've been working on? Oh, I got transparency. That's a drug. Upcharge, here we go. So now, if I look back, uh, my hospital value and the number of cures are the only two things that I need. I've researched cure equipment to 100%. Fantastic, go me. There we go, I'll buy the whole hospital. Now how much is it worth? Ha! 150,000. Oh, I have another epidemic. Great. Heaped piles. Uh, well... Let's see, how many do I have? One, all right, I know what your your issue is. I know what your issue is. Uh, my drugs should be good. I don't think I actually have to wait for these guys to get diagnosed. I think I can just send them for diagnose or for treatment. Um, it does reduce the amount of money I stand to make though. 
because if they go for treatment and they don't come visit a doctor first, then I can't charge them for that. So like, that's, that's $166 that she just paid out. But by telling her to go for treatment, um, I don't, I, I potentially run the risk of not making that money. Now here's the other tricky thing. Because the pandemic is contagious, it's infectious, it means that other people around those who are infected can catch it. So, I have to be careful that I don't have any others come down with the illness, because if they do, it gets that much harder to contain. I don't, uh, I, I think I actually do need a few more doctors, because I don't know where they all are. It's like I hire these guys and they just keep disappearing. Uh, you're, you're fine, get in there. Do, do something. I believe I got rid of the, the epidemic. Can I hit this? Oh, I think that this is just a fast way to like click on people who are part of the epidemic and send them off. What I think though, is that once this timer runs out, uh, they send a health inspector because news of the epidemic reaches the public. And then the health inspector will look around and go, who's in here, who's sick, and who's not? And then when they find out that there's nobody in the hospital who has the current illness, then they leave me alone, and they pay me a big sum of money. It's either that or it's only if I still have people... Uh, seven people with fractured bones, let's do it. Yeah, see, there's the health inspector. So he's gonna come in and he's gonna talk to the receptionist and then he's gonna leave and I get paid a crap ton of money for it. See, $14,000. Because I did have an epidemic, but I took care of it. So all it is is rumors and hearsay. This is, uh, it's it's an odd, odd way of playing the game. Who's banging on something? Oh, the handyman is fixing the fracture machine. Thank you, sir. I'm trying, man. I'm at 217 out of 300, I believe. This episode's actually gone on for quite a while, but I feel bad that I was close to the end of the previous one, and then I scrapped it on at the beginning of this one. So, we will, uh... Oh, that was a biggin'. Holy crap. Oh my god, it just destroyed... It just destroyed three different machine rooms. And I murdered somebody. Holy crap. Can I... I don't think I can rebuild these at all either. Uh, I'm pretty sure that once they blow up like this, there's nothing I can do to fix them. <gasps> My operating room is down. Oh dear. Well, uh, now I know where my hospital value is going to have to go. I need another operating room. I don't need another ward. I need another... What was this? A scanner? I need a scanner, a hair restorer, and a popper. Okay, so we'll do a popper over here. Uh, it's also a sign that my machines were not 100% because they have to be 100% in order to tank an earthquake, I think. You can see this one down here is suffering a little bit too. Scanner. Do that, do that, that. You know what, let's see, can I rotate the scanner? Maybe it'll work this way? Yes, okay. I've never tried doing it in this orientation. Nope, I have a fracture clinic. I need a hair restorer. 
everything, right? That's what blew up. Uh, it's a hair, a popper, a scanner, and I need an, a new operating theater. So I think actually the operating theater is going to go down here in this corner. Um, because that's what I got. That is the spells I have available. Six, seven, okay, 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 okay. So we're just gonna, yep. Just, you know what, forget about it. I'm just gonna slam one of these down. It's, uh, it's part of the game, man. This is uh, how it goes. Uh, I think a fire extinguisher can help to save the equipment, potentially. Like, I'm not 100% certain about that. The The good news, if I'm recalling the way that... Oh, shit. I have a fire in here, I think. It's either that or it's just what this looks like when it falls apart. Um, I think a fire extinguisher can help put the machines out so that they don't totally explode and destroy everything. And then you can salvage, but... I don't actually know. Okay, let's, uh... Build another operating theater then. Let's see, we'll put the table over here. Curtain goes down here. Sink goes there. The screen goes there. Give me two radiators and a plant. It's been a long time since I've had an earthquake actually take down machines. Like, even when I was a kid, I was pretty good about managing that. I don't know, I guess I'm out of touch. I wasn't properly managing my hospital. I'm gonna get sued for medical malpractice. One, two, three, four. Just filling in the extra spaces here. Gotta have plenty of spots for them to sit. Looking pretty good, actually. Uh, I've got like a million people standing in the hallway because, of course, I don't have enough seating. I don't think I have any seating in the hallway. Let's uh, see if I can fix that a little bit. There you go. There's six more benches. I don't know if that'll seat. No, it doesn't seat all of you. Damn. That's a bunch of people. Alright, let's... Let's... Let's, uh... Let's... 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 Let's, let's see what we're gonna do about that, I suppose. Maybe if I put down enough benches, y'all will quit destroying my fucking floor. How about that, huh? You ever thought about that? You ever thought about not destroying my floor? Okay, maybe now I... Oh, I have another epidemic. And I have... Ooh, ouch. Wow, that bad, huh? Heaped piles. Let's do it. Alright, what do we got? You go for a cure, you go for a cure. You go for a cure. At least I believe that's what this spray can is designed to do, is it's, it's, it'll send them for a cure if they have the thing that they're supposed to have, I guess. Uh, if that's not the way that it works, then clearly I've misunderstood. We're gonna one, and uh, two. And I guess we'll do a three. I don't know, I just need a bunch of people. Uh, I am contagious, queuing for GP's office. Oh, I don't... It may just give them priority. This, this chick is just straight up dying over here. Go for a cure. I can't. <clears throat> I apparently don't have enough offices to diagnose all these people fast enough. I wish there were a way to bulldoze busted rooms like this, but I guess there isn't. What are you? What do you have? You, you. I know what you have. Go for your. Go do your thing. I was gonna say, I know what these people have. If they're like half dead because they keep queuing up for these rooms because my doctors can't get to them fast enough, then they need to go for the cure. Just, just go handle it. This area of the hospital was kind of a mess. That's 
fine. Um, the good news is I'm only waiting on curing another, like, 50 people, so if my doctors can move quick enough to make that happen... Oh, I just killed somebody. Well, oops. Tried. Ugh, I have to... There you go. We're just, we're just gonna spray you. We're gonna spray you in the face. I don't know. Uh, if I were to redo this, I think I would do maybe three three GP's offices in this area, kind of in that formation still. And then I would do three more over here because clearly six is not enough when I have 13 people queuing. Maximum queue size here is 13. This one's got 14. This one's got 11. Like, there's so many people. Um, what I should do though is move all of my epidemic people to the front of the queue so that they don't have to stand around and wait. Um, and they can go off and get whatever other diagnosis they need. I don't have a cue for reception, I don't think, so. Yeah, so you with the epidemic thing, you go to the front of the line. Uh, you don't have any. You don't have any. Okay, cool. What do you have? Nothing. What do you have? One dude. What are... nobody. What are all of you waiting for? Just the GP. You guys are just waiting to be seen for the first time. That's terrifying. Alright. Go for your cure, I guess. How did I just kill somebody? I probably just killed somebody. I think that's what that noise is. It's either that or people are like dying in my hallways because they're not being seen. You're like a quarter dead. Go for your cure. Can I, can I? Apparently not while you're on the can. You're waiting on a surgeon? Where the hell is my surgeon? Yeah, I, I know. I straight up murder people left, right, center here, I guess. I think I may have actually, like, killed a handful of doctors. Uh, not bothered. Cool. There you go. Do your surgery thing. What do you, what's your bro- go for your cure, because you know what that is. I quite literally cannot see them fast enough. Hospital is too busy, man. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm working on it. working on it. I just can't get this place to go any faster because I built the hospital badly. Sorry, I was quiet for a while. I was uh, thinking while, well, you know, clicking and dragging on stuff. No, I, I can't... I can't do anything because I, I'm kind of trapped. I, I've landlocked myself with the amount of space that I have here, which isn't a lot. Uh, let's turn this stop procedure down to 100% and just send people... not a whole lot I can do about that. Just... Alright, well, I mean, you were gonna die anyways, so... Fully on you. What's your thing? Go. Go to your cure. It's just the GPs. They're the trouble. Baldness. Sure, send them in, because they just skip diagnosis. They go straight to the machine, and the machine is fine. And if I don't have enough doctors, I can always hire more. Ration is a distraction. Arrogant and cocky. Right, well, you know what? You need to go stand in there then. Uh, the health inspector should be on his way in shortly, I think, if he's not already come through. And once he's here. Oh, yep, there he is. 
Having to hide the fact that you had heaped piles, your hospital staff have caused the disease to be spread to the general public, the government declares a national emergency and finds me eight grand. Great. And my situation in the hospital has gotten no better. This is a disaster. This is, uh, this is looking rather, rather grim. Like, can you just, like, go, st you know what your cure is. Go, go, stop, stop standing around. That's the trouble, is that their health gets bad enough that these guys are literally just dying in the hospital because they're all trying to get back to the GP's office. Hi, yes, very good. Um, what do I need to do? I need to cure another, like, 30 people. Okay, let's see if I can speed this process up. We're just gonna... We're gonna see how many people we murder. Uh, I think this chick is just gonna... Oh, nope, I got her in time. She almost died on me. What do you got? Eight people with slack tongue. Go, I have a clinic. Look at the doctor's already in there waiting. We're just gonna start slicing tongues off. Go ahead, go ahead. I know I'm murdering people left, right, and center. Fine, shut up. Let's see. Uh, none of that matters to me. Cures versus deaths are what matter. I have nine deaths, ten deaths. I saved eight people, cool. I think they're dying just because they're waiting too long. My hospital is too busy. Yeah, they're straight up, they're dying because they're waiting too long. They're all standing here queuing for one doctor's office, like I don't, I don't know, I, I can build other doctor's offices, I guess. I don't know, maybe that's, is that the solution? Is that it? Am I just ignoring the obvious? I can do more. I don't know, let's go back. Go back to the drawing board. Yeah, this, I think, is where things started to turn sideways. Maybe I'm not the doctor I'm cracked up to be. Uh, we'll get one more GP's office down there. I should throw a bunch into this building here because it doesn't matter. Uh, at this stage of the game, it really doesn't matter what I do. I'm, I'm almost there. I just have to try to avoid killing people long enough to, like, hit 300. And I'm, I'm already there. Cool. So I'm doing this mostly as like a formality at the at this moment. Here you go. There's one dude. Uh, there's this dude. There you go. Got extra doctors everywhere. Can we get somebody in the bloody head clinic, please? Let's get some benches down. Throw four benches over there. I'll throw a bunch down here because I don't care. Let's get this going. Oh, look it, we're gonna redistribute all of these people to other offices. That's annoying. Oh, I don't know how many people I have. This is gonna get real dicey real fast. Let's see. Give me another office down here, I guess. I'm just waiting, now that we've got our 300, I'm waiting for the notification pop up that says, hey, you can go on to the next hospital. We're gonna go ruin some lives there, too. Hopefully not as many as we've ruined here, because uh, this has been a little more chaos than I ordinarily care for. It'll be fine. Uh, we need you, we need... Oh, All right, I can't hire any more doctors. So things are gonna get a little dicey around here. Uh, let's see. Put some benches down. This might redistribute all the people to different areas, I think. Yeah, see, I'm redistributing people now. Still a bunch of people standing. There's really not a whole lot I can do about all of that, though. Oops. Let's... Can I... You won't let me... You won't let me... You... You really... There we go. It's like, why won't you let me do the thing? It's not letting me do the thing. Alright. This... This is not... Well, we'll see. I mean, it is helping. The idea is if they spend less time... I know, I, have to, I just have to wait for the previous wave of deaths to go past... Uh... 
turn all this off so I can s Okay, they're letting me go on to the next hospital. Green pool. All right, well, I mean, gosh, this has been a long one. Um, I tell you what, <laughs> we will go ahead and move on to the next hospital in the next episode, but uh, I think I have straight up murdered enough people for now, and I should have built more GP's offices to start. I should have known that it would get chaotic and that I would need like six of them, so I'm going to remember this in the next one and build like 50, because when you don't do it right once, you overdo it the next time to compensate, and then dial it back from there, right? Uh, anyways, sorry for all of probably the gore that's all over your notes thank you for tuning in hopefully this episode was a little bit entertaining even though it was still pretty quiet uh, and with that class dismissed see ya